I've, I've listened to a lot of Dilja. I think he's great. Good coach out there here, Anjali. Don't know his Sam Jogi. Did I? All right, yeah. Yeah. Hi, this is Ed Sheeran for Brute. Hi, Ed. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? So this is your first, I think your third uh, time that you're visiting India, right? Yeah. What is it about the country that has pleasantly surprised you? It, well, it's it, it's actually my. I just found this found this out today, but it's my biggest market outside. Uh, well, no, it is my big. It's my biggest market. So uh, uh, the people in India listen to my music more than anyone else listens to my music in the world. So that that's pleasantly surprised me. I'm in love with the shape of and do you listen to any kind of Indian music? Quite a lot, actually. Yeah, I think like the first time I came over here. Uh, I went to a small party with uh, a bunch of people that were big stars in, in Bollywood and I think that that kind of opened opened the door. There's a lot of Indian music that's, uh, yeah, fantastic. I'd say that that's kind of what I've been listening to the most for the last like year and a bit. So who would you say are your favourite Indian musicians? I've, I've listened to a lot of Diljit, I think he's great. I love I love Aman, uh, obviously having having worked with him and I, I think, yeah, King King has made some really exciting stuff. You mentioned that uh, you know you uh, hung out with a bunch of Bollywood folks. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious to know how do you think celebs in India are different from celebs in the West? Celebs in the West, I guess, like, I mean, I'm generalizing here, but like, I can only really do one thing. I can just, I can sing and and play guitar. Whereas, like, I think p Bollywood is you. You have to be an amazing dancer. You have to be an amazing actor. You have to be an amazing singer. But like, really specifically good at all those things and. It's uh, like I watched this movie with my mates maybe like a year ago. R R R is it called R R R here? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but just like the the dancing in that, and it's a fantastic film. That's like an epic three-hour film, and um, you know just the ability, the uh, technical ability to be able to do all of those things, I think, is uh, impressive. Would would R R R class as Bollywood though? Not Bollywood, yeah. Indian film. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> The guy that basically discovered me in the music industry was this guy Zubin Arani and it was one, I was playing a gig in, in Manchester and it was just one person that watched me and it turned out to be this, this guy Zubin who ended up being my lawyer, representing me, helped get me signed and, and blah blah blah. So when, and, and he is um, Indian and uh, when I was coming to Mumbai he said, oh my friend, uh, no my cousin uh, is out there so hook up with her, this, this girl Farah Khan and um, when we arrived, she was just like, yeah, come to this thing. It was really fun. You know, we danced, we ate some incredible food, and I met some really cool people that, that night, but yeah. But it was like one of those ones where it was like the perfect, the perfect night, uh, like everything, everything was just great. <laughs> <laughs> 